Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. Today we are talking about the stay home dad, how I've been coping, how I've been managing with the kids during this isolation period, what it's like, what the experience is like. Then we do have a B-roll, which you already seen, and we'll talk about that funny B-roll. Coming up. Welcome back. Today, if you're here for the first time, I will appreciate it if you join this family. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews, and all the good stuff. But it's basically, you know, me practicing on YouTube, you know, kind of relating my journey to the cinemas, which is like my ultimate dream one day to actually make it to, you know, to world class movies and stuff like that. So, I, I mean, I practice everything I learn and I'm try as soon as I learn something new, I try to show what I've learned on, on this channel. And I appreciate that feedback from time to time as we all practice together. All right, enough said about that. I just wanted to like um, talk about the bureau. For, you know, what I really wanted to show was me preparing breakfast for the kids. Nah, I'm not really a bureau, but why, you know, why not try to be a little bit cinematic? So it's ideas and what we could be doing, how we could go to the next level, all that coming up. Just uh, please subscribe if, if you're a YouTuber, if you're a filmmaker, and you know, you are not there, you got dreams, please stay with me and I will write together and we will all get there together because some of you, we will have to work together in terms of projects. So all those I would, you know, break down on the on the filmmaker series, YouTuber filmmaker series that is. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll all learn something. I will be able to put our two cents into it to make it what it should be. It's been very, you know, strange in that I never was the one that was that would stay at home and I never thought, you know, something like this will, I'm the go out guy, hustling kind of guy. I, I want to be the front runner, providing for my family and all that. You know, I remember when, when we just came into this country some five years ago, I was going to go to film school straight up. And, you know, my wife did advice, like, you know, this is a profession that's that's tasking that you, you know, how do we, you know, provide, you know, you can't just depend on what you came in, whatever finance you came in from out of uh, country and, you know, you should be thinking about getting, not uh, spending. So um, we thought about it and eventually we decided, you know, you know what, you go on first because she wanted to become a nurse. So she went in first. And I was like, you know, I started doing some jobs on the side. I took my eyes and my focus off the film industry. I just tried to act like I wasn't, there wasn't any interest in there because, you know, family first, right? So I had to do some jobs to be able to provide for my family while she went to school. So she's out of school now. And finally, I'm back to, on to film school. And, um, yeah, that's where we are now. So I could have been done with film school and uh, I felt like at this time, after being done in, uh, from film school, I will be rocking some serious project, making some serious money, which hopefully could have been the case. But my point for saying all this is, it turns out she became a nurse and today she is the only one that can work not me. Even though it's kind of cheesy, like it's kind of uh, sad and dangerous, the bills are still coming. I mean, I need to know what, how you guys coping with the bills? You know, did you call out to some of your bills? Like companies, are they ready to work with you? 
even though she's running everything and she can, it would be nice if I don't burden her too much. So I called, called off some of my bills, like, you know, I'm not working, this is the pe- this period, I'm not working, I'm, I'm a stay home dad. How can we work something out? And, um, you know, I think the most important one did give me two months. You know, some said one month. If you're not making any money, you have to try and um, call in and see what you can arrange. Because I'm independent now, I don't have to work for anybody. I'm independent, I do my commercial work, video work, music videos, and whatever project I'm needed for, I do that on the side. Now that I cannot go anywhere, she's the only one that can go out. She's exposed to all the dangers out there. I'm pretty sure some of you were laughing at uh, the meal I was preparing. In fact, I'm very sure some of you were laughing at the bureau and some was laughing at the cooking. So, um, yeah, none of which I am uh, a pro at, but, you know, we're getting there. Um, Trust me, the kids did love the meal. I'll see if I can get them to come and testify. Thumbs up. Four stars for you, Daddy. But five stars for mommy. And by the way, that's um, African noodles. For those of you from back home who who could identify the noodles. I mean, generally, um, my wife prepares meals, all the meals, major meals. When she's off, you know, she's very hardworking. I appreciate her a lot. Our prayers go out, goes out to her and every other nurse out there who's doing this for us and, and I saw one clip from on Instagram I saw it on the news as well but I saw it uh, first on Instagram where the nurses a couple of nurses were uh, holding placards or cards and they were like we go to work for you which is your family and so please stay at home for us now uh, in my head I thought about it. why would they need to emphasize that I think there are still some men who wants to go drink together have their friends come over and have barbecues you know stuff like that that's a no-no the social distancing you need to practice so I mean why they are doing all the risk there they come out free from that they succeed and come out free and come out healthy and then come home to get polluted by the husband who couldn't stay at home. You know, that's that's uh, that's sad. For those of us who, was, who don't have to go out, who are supposed to stay in, stay in. Um, I mean, if you want to walk the kids around, but not just go make contact, you know. Same thing applies for you live with your parents and you, you know, you want to jump out of the window and jump out and go say hi to friends. I think it's taking time for us to actually eradicate this stuff. And that's why, because people are not believing it, people are not uh, buying into it. And before it's they, before they know it, it's too late. They are exposing, they have, they've contaminated their families and uh, family members. So it would do us good if we just stick to the game plan, be creative at home, learn or stop, and watch these videos, watch other videos, learn decide what you're gonna do right now this will be a good time to start up a youtube channel for those of you who've been thinking about it why not you are you're staying at home start up a channel watch some tutorials of how people run their channels and stuff like that um that's the best you could do if your wife or your husband goes out to do the you know um hustling this time uh, it's it would be nice if they come home and you got things sorted out you know be as useful to the to your partners now more than ever before because uh, every time they go out there it is no joke now back to the bureau i showed it with my um with this guy here uh, it's the black magic. I suddenly shot it with the black magic because it was easier to hold. This is the uh, my Sony FS5 Mark II, and um, and this is the black magic. And I've got a comparison going on, you know, which I'll use in another video. I use the black magic camera for that, but I use the Canon FD um, 70 to 200. I know that's not the best, but I had to just set them up just to be fast so I can have the, the kids can have their meal and not wait for my B-roll. What you can do, 
you know, to support your partner. Or if two of you are not working, that's dangerous. Even if you can get rid of the bills, you still need to feed. But you want to constantly think about how to make money this period from home. Um, look up some sites. Indeed has a lot of um, work from home jobs. Um, editing, if you're able to, you know, take some low pay from ed ed editing and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with going to sign up for Fiverr. Fiverr, you know, and it's not a sponsored video, but, you know, Fiverr is a platform where you could, you know, get things for cheap, you know, video editing, stuff like that. But you, why not do, do that, you know? At least you get paid downloads. There are many people looking for YouTube content uh, editor. But it was fun talking with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.